This is a pretty odd request. Why do you want to do this anyway? You promised me you'd get her to meet me. That's all I want. You say she's just an illusion, but I don't buy it. Well, she is an illusion. In this realm. But a promise is a promise. I can't stop you from meeting with her. <laughs> Very well. You should know, though, that she is not a resident of this reality. She is an ancient being who enters men's dreams to perform evil. I take no responsibility for what happens if you pursue her. Hey, you know what? Enough with the threats. Quit the chit-chat. Just call her. She's already here. Take your time. My job here is done. <laughs> Catherine. Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. How have you been? Uh, I mean, it's... it's good to see you again. Yeah. I've never been called out like this before. It was really surprising. So, what do you want? You know what I am, right? Uh, yeah. Aren't you scared? Well, maybe a little. Hmm... Vincent, listen. I was only helping him out. On a whim. You're the one who wanted me, and you're the one who rejected me, remember? And now, you ask me to meet you here. What's this about? Well, I wanted to talk. With me? Yeah, of course with you. <laughs> what is it? Look, don't worry about it. I don't care that you dumped me. You, well, no, that's not it. It's not? So... There's something I want... Something I have to tell you. Okay. I'm listening. So, out with it already. I've made up my mind. Your mind? Before, I was worried about my future. I thought my life was being decided for me. But meeting you... I feel like I've overcome that. <laughs> What are you saying? You met me and overcame... what? Uh, I don't know how to say it. Society's all about patience and self-sacrifice, right? I mean, everyone practically kills themselves to stay safely within the herd. Mm -hmm. But I hate that life. Even if it means I'm going astray myself. That's why I was willing to go through all of that nightmare bullshit. I made it out alive. I'm not in the herd anymore. Now that I've met you, I've lost all hesitation that I had. Huh? I'm... I'm totally free now. Together, we can both live our lives to the fullest without chaining each other down. Uh, I see. And so, I've decided... I want to live with you. Uh, live with me? Wait, what are you saying? Living with me means... Oh, I can quit being human, if that's what it takes. <sighs> I've made up my mind. Don't you believe me? Vincent... I want you. <gasps> Will you marry me? Marry? A demon like me? Don't worry, you can pass as a human. Look at me. <laughs> I never noticed it. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, um, anyways, let's have fun. Like the time we met, huh? Well, I do think you're not a bad male for a human. To tell the truth, I actually was a bit into it myself. Yeah, right? But I can't. Well, then what can I do? Tell me why you can't so that I can understand. The compatibility between our bodies? Compatibility? What do you... Besides, I think you still just want to live a quiet life. I don't sense that you have a strong enough will to live with me. Ugh. <laughs> Give up.
You might not know it, but she is the daughter of a great demon. For her to marry a human would be... well... <laughs> Just act like the sheep you are and return to the herd. And that is for your sake as well. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If we meet again, I'll think about it. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Wait, again as in, as in when? Hey! Hey, Vince, you all right? W where's Catherine? You saw her, right? Uh, hey, cut it out already. Where'd she go? You were watching, weren't you? Vincent. Uh, hey, Vincent. Uh, maybe you should have a doctor take a look at you. I'm not done talking! I know. Outside. She's outside, right? Y yeah. Um, whatever you say. Vincent! Huh? Vincent! Oh, fuck. Huh? Someone! Call 911! Hello everyone, it's nice to be able to see you again. How'd you enjoy the show? A perfect escape from the terrifying nightmare. You led Vincent out with your exceptional skills. Even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life, full of excitement? In the nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? So Vincent finally won his freedom, but then he confessed his love for the succubus. Not only that, but marry me, he said. Talk about being wild. But was married life with his newfound lover really the answer to Vincent's troubles? You know, maybe this is actually a good ending for him. After all, now he has the freedom he was so desperately clinging to. Isn't that one way to look at it? <laughs> but maybe he was a bit too aggressive. He was reckless at the end, but his newfound toughness really shone through. Well, what did you players out there think of this outcome? For those who aren't satisfied, you can always try again. This is, after all, <laughs> the Golden Playhouse, and I'll be your host for as long as you like. <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? <laughs> Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. Where'd you go? 